Hi, I'm Michael Cohn from Advanced Tubular Technologies. I'm the lead developer for V2 Blazer software that connects to a variety of articulated arms in order to measure and qualify tube shapes and ultimately to correct tube bending machines. In January of 2016, we introduced the V2 Blazer hybrid tube feature. The hybrid tube feature could average any number of tube measurements together to form a single new hybrid or averaged tube shape. One of our customers shared the results of extensive measuring tests of large diameter tubes where they measured the tube more than once to create hybrid or averaged tubes. Their tests confirmed that averaging two measures from different sides of the tube has a significant positive impact on returning reliable tube shape information. In previous versions, an operator had to enter the tube data storage window and manually select which tubes to average then create a new average tube, then copy the results back into VTube Laser's main memory. The customer asked us to streamline this averaging process, so we created the Measured Tube Averaging, or MTA, feature. MTA is now included in version 2.9.3. This new feature makes creating hybrid tubes from any number of measured tubes stress-free. I'm excited about the MTA feature. I'm going to show you how the feature works, so let's get started. Step one is to measure the tube using Uniscan. Step two is to use a new feature called Finish and Build, then Measure Again. I'm going to change the measure notes so that it says Measure 2 so that we can see that in the tube data storage later on. Step three, reorient the tube so we can measure the other side. And measure the tube again. Step 5, press Finish and Build, then Average. You'll see 2 for the average number to build. Then build the measured tube and perform an alignment. All green means the part is good to go. I'm entering the tube data storage menu to show you four different entries made automatically with the MTA feature. Measure 1, Measure 2, the average of the two, and the alignment of the average to the master data. And that's how easy it is to use the new MTA or Measured Tube Averaging feature in VTube Laser 2.9.3. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me at michael.cohn at advancedtubular.com. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.